trying to do is you're trying to lubricate this area here so i'm just gonna lubricate with oil and the new oil and now i'm gonna pour in oil in here not all the way up but um just probably three quarters of the way and what you're trying to do is you're trying to fill it up so that it doesn't take when you're pouring in your oil it doesn't take a lot of space and it doesn't have to get filled uh, as oil is circulating because then your oil level might drop just slightly and um, and you know, I mean some vehicles that have a pump that pump the oil uh, circulated really quickly but uh, I do this normally for this car just so it has enough oil in here it doesn't have to basically drain the oil out of the engine to fill this up I think that's good enough it's like it looks like it's three quarters of the way in and now i'm gonna attach the oil oil filter now in the car yeah, so i have a new engine oil, oil filter i put the the drain plug back on uh now i'm gonna put i gonna first put the moa in before i start putting the oil in so that by the time i put it, the last drop of oil i can kind of like see if the oil level is correct so we got to open this you can use a screwdriver to just pop it out first and then like a flathead you put it right in between you pop it up and then with your finger then you should be able to lift it and pull it back all right so now i'm going to pour this in and what this is supposed to extend the life of the oil uh, so that's that's what the moa is basically for So the oil additive is in. Now we're going to start putting the oil in. So like I said before, this takes 4.4 quarts of oil, approximately. So what we're going to do is going to pour one quart at a time. I'm not gonna bore you with just pouring in oil, but what you have to do is put the four quarts, and then when we get to the last quart, that's when we're gonna start figuring out how much extra we're gonna put. So I have four quarts in for the MOA. So next, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check the level for the oil. I don't want to put too much oil in because the MOA is taking up uh, some volume in there. So I take the oil stick uh, out and I'm going to clean it up. And now we're going to put it back in and inspect it and see what the oil level is. And here it looks like it's topped off. Um, so what I'm going to do is... I'm going to give it a little bit of time to settle because still there's oil draining down and uh, I just want to make sure that I don't get the wrong reading but in the meantime it should, it should be fine turning on the car and getting it off from uh, the, the, the jacks if you have them on jacks uh, jack stands but um, for now all we have to do is just make sure we have the right, correct amount of oil so that um, I guess I'll leave that up to you um, but so far for me, I'm done from here. So uh, I'm going to put the link for the product that I, I was using, the BG uh, engine cleaner. And, and, um, and, that, and it's very expensive. It's about $330. But if you have any issues with your engine where it has a lot of gunk and you want to clean it, uh, I see that actually is one of the, good pro the best products you can use to clean the engine. Well, I hope I hope you learned something from this. I'm gonna attach anything else that you might need for for uh, this project, but um, I hope this was helpful. Take care.